So let's get ready for this morning or today's class. If you have a block, please grab a block. You're going to need one for today. And then find yourself in shoelace. Left shin under, right shin on top. And just bring palms down, one hand onto foot and palm down onto knee. And gently bring the eyes to close. If you're taking part in this class outside, listen to the beautiful sounds of nature. Maybe even having a couple of laughs at the other video with all the hardy dots. If you're practicing indoors, paying very special attention to the quiet of your home. Start connecting to uh, Ujjayi breath. Breathing in and out through the nose with a slight constriction in the back of the throat. yourself just coming to a place of stillness turning on your internal awareness that internal gaze And bringing hands to heart center. The intention I'd like to play around with today is that internal gaze. So what that means is when we move through our poses, I want you to keep checking in. How are things shifting inside of me? Do I notice a certain emotion coming up? Is there a certain feeling? Whatever it is today, I just want you to keep checking in. Taking a moment to allow that intention to settle into the body. And then allowing the eyes to draw open and releasing the hands down. Big inhale. Reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, folding forward. Walking your hands back towards shins as you rise up to seated. Twisting towards the foot brings the right elbow into the inner arch of the right foot. Making a fist out of the right hand, bring the left palm on top as you twist to the side. And twisting back to center. Exhale, twisting over the thighs. Spin yourself towards your right knee. Try and bring forearms or elbows or palms down onto the mat on your right hand side.
rising back up through center. Changing the cross of your shoelace, right shin under, left shin on top. Big inhale, reach the arms straight up towards the sky and exhale, fold forward. rising all the way up through to seated twisting sorry twisting shoelace towards the foot left elbow into inner arch of left foot fist out of the left hand and right palm on top as you twist twisting back through center exhale twisting over to your left bringing forearms or elbows or palms to mats twisting over the thigh Inhale, coming up and twisting back to center. Unravel the legs, roll yourselves down onto your backs. Make sure you take your block with you so it's in reaching distance once you're all the way down. Bringing shins up parallel to your mat. Hands interlaced along the nape of the neck, cradling the head in the hands. Frog lifting through, open the knees out to the side. Everything in a 90 degree bend. Hips. Feet, knees, elbows pointing sideways. Deep breath into lower back. Curl your pubic bone to your navel. Exhale, reach the elbows straight up towards the sky and pull the belly down. Inhale, shoulder blades to mat. Breath goes into lower back. Curl pubic bone to navel. Exhale, reach elbows up. Inhale, shoulder blades to mat. Curl pubic bone to navel. Exhale, reach elbow skywards. Inhale into lower back. Curl pubic bone to navel. Exhale, reach elbows straight up towards the sky. Inhale into lower back. Curl pubic bone to navel. Exhale, reach elbows up. And release head, neck, and shoulders and feet to the floor. Straddle lifting through. Open the legs out as wide to the sides as you can. You may need to sp spin yourself around on your mat if, you're going, if you don't have space. Otherwise, just opening the legs out nice and wide. Spread the toes. Interlace hands along nape of neck. 
Deep breath into lower back. Curl pubic bone to navel, stretch the legs out to the sides. Exhale, lift shoulder blades off the mat, reach elbows up, unlock the shoulders. Inhale, into lower back. Curl pubic bone to navel, exhale, reach elbows up. Pull belly down. Inhale, into lower back. Curl pubic bone to navel, exhale, reach elbows up. Inhale, into lower back. Curl pubic bone to navel. Exhale, reach the elbows up towards the sky. Pull the belly down. Last one. Inhale, into lower back. Curl pubic bone to navel. Exhale, reach the elbows up. Pull the belly down. Release. Head, neck and shoulders and feet to the floor. Planting the feet down, reach for your block. Deep breath into lower back. Curl tailbone up, exhale, lift the hips up off the floor. Slide the block lengthwise across your sacrum. It's gonna give that really nice tailbone tuck feeling. From there, deep breath in, right leg rises. Crossing ankle onto thigh. Reaching right leg high. Exhale, release right foot to mat. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, cross ankle to thigh. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, release, left foot to mat. Deep breath in. Lifting the pelvis off of the block. Slide the block out from underneath you. Place it to the side. Curl the tailbone up and slowly begin to lower down. Upper back, mid back, lower back into mat. Bring the legs into the chest. Slowly make your way up to seated. Swing the legs around and reach for your block. Placing the block lengthwise across the top of your space for dolphin with the block. Palms up variation. So bringing forearms down onto your mat. 
Flip your palms up towards the sky or the ceiling. Pinky finger and palm run up the side of the block, hands face upwards. You want to drive your fingernails firmly into the mat and roll the thumbs out to the side. Elbows are underneath shoulders. Relax the crown of your head down. Deep breath into upper back, tuck toes under. Exhale, lift the knees up off the mat and straighten the legs. Lightly place knees down onto the mat. Hands on the shoulders, tabletop. Slide your block out the way and make your way to downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, gazing forward, lightly step or float, top of space. Breath into halfway lift. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale into mountain pose, rising all the way up. Exhale, summer's DTE draws hands down to heart center. Chair pose, breath in, bend through the knees, Utkatasana, sweep the arms up, lengthen the tailbone down. Sitting into that very awkward chair position. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to mat, exhale, lightly step or float back. Chaturanga, elbows in tight. Breath into upward facing dog. Breath out, downward facing dog. Right leg steps forward to the lunge. Ground the back heel down, warrior one. Breath in, come up. Release hands to mat. Step right foot back, Chaturanga. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, down dog. Left leg steps forward, grounding back, heel down. Into warrior one, reach the arms up. Square the hips and the shoulders to face forward. Release hands to mat, step left foot back. Chaturanga, high through mid plank. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, down dog. Lightly step or float to top of space. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Breath into chair pose, bend the knees, sit down, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold over the thighs. Inhale, halfway lift, scoops front of heart. Hands to mat, float or step back, high through mid plank, keeping belly in nice and tight. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Right leg steps forward, warrior one, breath in. Exhale, chaturanga, hands to mat. High through mid plank. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Left leg steps forward, 
right heel down at 60 degrees reach the arms up spread the fingers in the palms strong deep lunge in the left leg release hands to mat step left leg back chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog looking forward lightly step or float inhale halfway lift exhale foot fold chair pose inhale forward fold exhale inhale halfway lift hands to mat float to step back chaturanga breath into upward facing dog breath out downward facing dog right leg lunges back heel down warrior one inhale reach the arms up hands to mat right foot steps back chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale push back down dog left leg lunges warrior one inhale reach the arms up hands to mat step left foot back chaturanga breath into upward facing dog breath out down dog lightly step or float forward inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold breath into chair exhale summer seat to eat draws hands to heart inhale into mountain pose exhale forward fold breath in halfway lift hands to mat chaturanga step or float back high through mid plank inhale into upward facing dog exhale down dog push back right leg steps forward to the lunge crown the back heel down at 60 degrees inhale into warrior one bringing palms to touch twisting warrior exhale twist to the right Come onto the ball of your back foot and place the left knee to the mat. Twisting lunge interlock or reverse bind, some of you may know it. Left arm under and right arm behind your back. Looking for your fingertips or a strap. unbind twisting pigeon towards the foot 
Walk your right foot across the top of your space for half pigeon. Gently place your right sit bone or glute down. Shift your right shin parallel to the top of your space. Allow the back leg to bend as necessary. Then bringing right elbow into inner arch of the right foot, twisting to the left. If the elbow isn't quite making its way into the arch of the foot, place the elbow in front of the shin. Slowly coming out, planting hands down, chaturanga, step back, high through mid plank, inhale into upward facing dog, exhale push back, downward facing dog. Stepping the left leg straight through to a lunge, grounding the back heel down, inhale into warrior one. Breath in brings palms to touch, twisting warrior, exhale twist to the left. Coming onto the ball of the back foot, lightly place the right knee down. Twisting lunge, interlock. Reverse bind the right arm under and the left arm behind your back, looking for fingertips or a strap. Unbind. Half pigeon walks the front foot across the top of your mat. Twisting towards the foot. Sit on your left glute. Shift the left chin parallel to the top of your space. Bringing left elbow into inner arch of foot. Twisting to the right. Slowly coming out, planting your hands down. Step left leg back, high through mid plank, chaturanga. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog.
from your downward facing dog gazing forward you can lightly step float or fly into bakasana crow pose so stepping forward into goddess squat if you're going to step into it bringing your knees to the outer edges of your triceps hands in front of you shoulder distance apart rising up onto your toes plant the hands down gazing forward lift one foot up at a time once you're up try and get your big toes touching behind you squeeze the knees to the outsides of the arms keep your gaze forward try and lift the bum and when you're ready slowly come out stepping back into downward facing dog. breath in steps right foot forward into a lunge step the left foot in a little bit closer twisting triangle straighten both legs left hand down right arm rises you may need a block to line up with both of the ankles as you twist the right arm high if you don't need a block that's also fine Extended twisting warrior. Bend through the front leg, ground the back heel down. Releasing right hand down, standing splits, vertical splits, right foot stays down, left leg rises. Release the left foot down, top of your space, forward fold. Inhale, scoop heart, halfway lift. Hands to mat, chaturanga, step or float back, high through mid plank. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. left leg steps forward ground back heel down twisting triangle reach for your block if you need it right hand down in line with both ankles twist the left arm up
extended twisting warrior. Keep the back heel grounded, bend the front leg. Releasing left hand down, standing splits, inhale, right leg rises. Strong wrap in the shoulders, spread the toes, reach that right foot up. Lengthen the chest down the front shin. forward fold step down inhale halfway lift hands to mat float step jump back high three mid plank breath into upward facing dog and breath out push back downward facing dog right. come on down onto your knees tabletop and then come to seated as you have a look. Moving into Asta Vakrasana, eight limb pose. Lay your left chin across the top of your space. Left hand grabs outer blade of right foot. The right shoulder shimmies underneath and behind the knee and you plant the hand down nice and wide. Clamp the calf down onto the arm and hold it there. Plant the left hand down alongside your left hip. Lift left foot up. Lock left foot on the top of right foot. Shift your weight forward. Push your bum back. Lift yourself off the mat. Straighten your legs and lower your chest to hover off the floor. Keep the feet nice and tightly locked on each other as you push the heels out to the side. Try and straighten the arms, I mean straighten the legs and keep the arms bent in the chaturanga position. And release. Right. Shifting over to the other side. Right chin across the top of your space. Right hand grabs outer blade of left foot. Lift the leg up. Shimmy the shoulder behind the knee. Clamp the leg down. Plant the right hand down alongside the right hip. Lift right foot up. Lift right foot over left. Lock the feet together. Lift the bum up off the floor as you shift your weight forward. Rock your hips back. Straighten the legs and chaturanga bend the arms. And release. And make your way back to downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, right leg steps forward to a lunge. Head to ankle prep, stage one. Ground the back heel down into that warrior two position. Bend the right leg to 90 degrees. So I'm just gonna come and face you guys so you guys can see what this looks like. Right hand to inside of the right thigh. Straighten the right arm, pushing the leg away from you. Left hand on the left shoulder. Roll the right shoulder down, twist and look at your back foot. Low, release the pressure on the front leg. Low lunge to the top of your space and lightly place the back knee down. 
Great. Lunge H to B. Right hand onto the right thigh. Left hand reaches back for the outer blade of the left foot. Draw the heel in as you lunge forward. You may need to pad underneath the left knee. Maybe double fold your mat or place a towel underneath the knee. Ease the left knee down. Half pigeon the right foot across the top of your space. Pigeon H to B, but with a forward fold. Reach for the outer blade of the left foot, and then try and bring your right forearm down. If you're falling over to your right hand side, just reach for your block, slide your block underneath your glute, reach for the foot and then bring the forearm down. Slowly lift the chin or the chest and everything off the mat. Release the left foot down, plant the hands down, move your block out the way and press back downward facing dog. Lunging the left foot forward. Warrior two, the legs, ground the back heel down, head to ankle prep. Stage one, left hand to the inside of the left thigh, right hand underneath right shoulder. Straighten the left arm, push the left leg forward, twist and look at your back foot. Release the pressure on that front leg. Low lunge to the front of your space. Lightly place the right knee down. Lunge H to B. Left hand onto the left thigh. Maybe double fold your mat if you need to. Right hand reaches back for the outer blade of the right foot and we draw the heel in. Easing the right foot down. Half pigeon walks the left foot across the top of your space. You may need a block here. It's the right hand, bend the back leg, right hand reaches for the outer blade of the foot. Pigeon H to B with a forward fold.
lifting the chest, releasing the foot, move your block out the way and press back downward facing dog. Gazing forward, lightly step or float through to seated. Straightening the legs out in front of you for Paschimottanasana. Big inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, fold forward. Coming out of Pashma, roll yourselves down onto your backs. We're going to finish off in Baddha Kanasana, Shavasana. So bring soles of the feet together, let the knees butterfly open. Relax your arms along your sides, palms facing up, and bring the eyes to close. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and exhale it out. Coming back to your internal awareness, that internal gaze. Scan the body. Notice how you're feeling. Notice how you're looking at yourself. Come back to the intention of strengthening your internal awareness. And as you drift off into a long, well-deserved Shavasana, thank you for joining me on your mats today. Enjoy the rest of your isolation, and we hope to see you guys at the studio soon. Namaste.